Hello, Kula here. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm making a ton of videos for you guys because I have all this stuff sitting around my desk that I want to get away from my desk and clear out this area. And it's just, it's been a couple weeks since I made videos for you guys and I definitely do apologize. It's just been super busy at work. My parents came last weekend. And so I'm trying to get them all done now. Unfortunately, it's kind of undecided what it wants to do outside. Right now it's super duper sunny. It was supposed to storm all day today, starting at 10 this morning, and it's obviously not doing that. So my lighting is really, really messed up. I, I really do apologize. But I just want to get these videos done, so I don't want to wait. So we're just going to go through them, get them done. I'm almost finished. Uh, this is going to be my last video of today. This is going to be kind of a big haul overview again. Uh, I know I do a lot of these hauls and I'm kind of thinking about maybe doing more of a no buy for this month, the month of July. Um, just kind of make a list of things. Those are the only things I'm going to buy. I'm not going to impulse buy, but we'll see. I mean, I've already kind of bought a couple of things I wanted, but that's neither here nor there. Let's get to this haul so it doesn't end up being too long. I got a kind of a bunch of random stuff, so I'm just going to just start here. Uh, I picked up some soaps. Uh, here it was, well there is a little shop in my mall, it's just like a handmade soap and fragrance store. They actually sell the entire line of Demeter fragrance, which is really cool because they have like really cool scents like paperback book and there's a Hello Kitty scent and there's just a bunch of really random, there's like funeral home and stuff and it's just really fun. And they had this grab bag of soap. So for $10, you got four full-size bars of soap, which normally sell for $5 each. So that's a really good deal. Um, I got four. I gave one to my mom already just because I didn't like the smell of it. But the four I kept, I got Caprio, Olivio, or I think it's like kind of supposed to be like a Mediterranean kind of scent. Uh, I got the Cucumber Lime. And I got Pinot Grigio. So cool. I mean, for, you know... 10 bucks for three soaps, three handmade full-size soaps. That's a really good deal. I just love handmade artesian stuff like this. And I love mystery bags. So that was right up my alley. So I picked that up. Uh, that was really loud. I'm sorry. Uh, I got an order from Fortune Cookie Soap. I got a teeny little order here. I had my $10 coupon. And I just grabbed a couple things just because I wanted to use it. Uh, I love Fortune Cookie Soap whipped creams. This one is Plain Jane. This is the one with absolutely no fragrance. Um... I just wanted one with no scent just because, especially in the summer, like sometimes you just don't want that many smells going on, like especially with my hair stuff and my deodorant and if I'm wearing any fragrance or anything, like it can get a little bit too much. So I just thought it'd be nice to try their unscented one. I just love this product. I love the whipped creams. I think it's an amazing product. It's my favorite product from Fortune Cookie Soap. So I'm going to give that one a try, so that's exciting. I picked up the OCD Hand Sanitizer in Unicorn Farts. Uh, this is a fragrance I've always wanted to try and just haven't because I don't really like glitter, but I just want to try it's, it's very fruity. Uh, it's an interesting scent. It's kind of hard to explain, but it is a good scent. I do like it. And it's just funny that I have a hand sanitizer called Unicorn Farts. And then I picked up the Polyjuice Potion Cuticle Butter. I have the Marshmallow Dreams Cuticle Butter, and I just really, really love it. It's a really moisturizing product. It makes my cuticles feel nice and hydrated. It makes my nails look good. And this just... Uh, do you know those fruit snacks? They're like, they're not generic, but there's like shark ones, and there's... The shark ones are the only ones you can think of. There's like dinosaur ones and stuff, and they're not like the gummy kind, they're more solid. That's exactly what this stuff smells like. It, it's, it smells like fruit snacks. It's so good. Oh, so good. <laughs> so that was my Virgin Cookie Soap order. Um, I ordered some things from Ulta. This is my Ulta order here. Uh, there was a buy one, get one 50% off for Real Techniques brushes. I really love the Real Techniques brushes, so I picked up the eye starter set because I wanted some more eye brushes because I don't really have that many. And then I got the setting brush because I just thought it looked cool. I still want to get the buffing brush from this series because that one looks good too. And I still need another stippling brush as well, so I might look into getting these again. But I just really love how Ulta always has like buy one, get one half off sales, so that was cool to pick up. And then if you bought, I think like $15 worth of brushes, you got a sample size of the Japanese Solid Brush Cleanser Gentle Gulp Milk Cleansing Balm. So I wanted to give that a try. It's, it's just a solid cleanser and what you do I think is you swirl, like you get it kind of wet, your brush wet, and then you swirl it around in here until your brush is clean and then you can just rinse this off and... 
that's kind of a cool way to clean your brushes. So we'll give that a try. That's neat. Uh, there was a buy one, get one free on a bunch of products. So I picked up some more of these Giovanni Ultra Moist Touch of Hair Talets and the Avocado and Olive Oil. These are so great just to throw in your purse. These are great for traveling so you don't have to carry Like if you're only going somewhere for a couple days and you don't want to haul along like an entire bottle of like hair serum and stuff, these are really, really great. They're individually wrapped moist towelettes for your hair and there's no parabens and stuff in them. They're biodegradable towelettes and they are kind of pricey. It is like $7 for the pack of 10, but buy one, get one free. Made it a good deal. So I got those. And then I picked up some NYX pencils. It was buy one, get one half off. So I picked up one in milk because I needed a new one for an eyeshadow base. And then I got one in lavender, kind of for fun. And I think the, one of these is older than the other because one of them actually does have plastic on them. And that's kind of one of the things that annoys me about NYX products is that a lot of times they aren't sealed in the drugstore. So when I go to my Ulta, they're all used and gross. So I just end up buying them online. But if they're gonna come sealed like this now, that would be really cool. I just picked those two up and then I just got my samples uh, I went with the variety pack like usual and I got some samples of the hemp's body triple moisture body wash and body cream so that's cool I got another one of these agave oil treatments for your hair and I really like these so that's good to have too and then I got a tiny little sample of the hikers foot healer and since my feet are gross and rough this will be great to use so that was my Ulta order um, I picked up some stuff from Sephora. I made a little teeny tiny $5 Sephora order just kind of for fun and there was something I wanted on sale that I didn't want to sell out again so I just thought I'd grab it and since I'm a VIB Rouge I get free shipping on everything and I've never ever gotten anything in a bubble mailer like this from Sephora before so I thought that was kind of funny. But like I said I just picked up something small for 5 bucks. Uh, for my samples, you get the three samples with it too which is cool. I got this Blith. Bliss. Bliss. The Youth As We Know It All Night Anti-Aging Cream. I got another one of the Good Jeans Treatment by Sunday Riley, which I still have no idea what this stuff is. And I got the Immaculate Liquid Powder Mattifying Oil Free Foundation? Foundation. By Hourglass. And this is in the color Nude. So I'll give that a try. And then this is what I picked up. I just picked up this set of hair ties. I love these kind of hair ties. They're just, they're really gentle on my hair. Um, they're just really pretty colors. This was five bucks for eight, and that's a really good deal. So I grabbed that. Uh, and then in store, I got a couple things on sale from the J.C. Penney Sephora. I really recommend going in there. Like you can find some really good stuff for really good prices. I picked up this Formula X nail polish in Hyped, and it's just beautiful purple with like blue shimmer in it. And this was two dollars on sale so there was no way I was gonna pass that up and this is it swatched right here so as you can see it's just a really gorgeous electric purple with blue shimmer and then I got two eyeshadows uh, I got a my boyfriend's jeans this is a shimmer this is beautiful blue color and these are on sale for $2.99 each and they had a couple other colors as well but I already own them because I bought them online and then this is Space Odyssey which is a glitter this is a black glitter with blue sparkle in it. Both absolutely gorgeous. Both $3 and a really good deal. And then I'm kind of well known by the people that work at the Sephora and the JCPenney's. So they asked me like if I got their flyer and I was like no I didn't get anything. And she's like oh well you know with your VIB purchase you get a sample of either the Strivectin uh, SD Advanced Intensive Concentrate for Wrinkles and Stretch Marks, or you could get a deluxe sample of the Murad Acne's Fast Fix Spot thing, and since I already had the Murad one, I went with this guy. So I got this just totally for free, and that's super awesome, and I just love, love, love going into Sephora and JCPenney's, because there's just so many good sales, the people there are just always super nice to me, and it, it just, it, I love, love going there. Um, I picked up some random stuff from uh, Bath and Body, no, Bed Bath and Beyond. Uh, I had a gift card left over from my wedding, which is over two years old, but they never expire. There was like $2.50 left on it. And they have these on sale. These are just nail polish remover pads. There are 25 in each of these. This one is vanilla. This is fruity fragrance, and they were on sale for a dollar each. I got another one that I gave to my coworker. 
uh, I haven't tried these yet. I haven't even smelled them. I have no idea if they're good or not. But they were a dollar each, and I had a gift card to waste, so I picked them up. Um, I got some nail polish. Uh, I picked up this Sinful Colors. This is my very first Sinful Colors. I got this at Target, so I paid a little bit more for it than I needed to. You can get these for $1.99 at like Walgreens and stuff. At Target, they're like $2.19, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, this is Cinderella, and it's just super pretty. It's like a blue, like a baby powder blue, and it has pink glitter in it, and it's just... It's so pretty, and I really liked the name of it. This is it swatched here, and I was really, really impressed. Like, the cheaper a nail polish is, kind of, I avoid it more because I don't think it's going to be very good. And considering how these are like two bucks, that is really good. This is two, two coats, I think, on here, and it's just, it's super pretty. So I was really excited to pick this up. I also picked up some Orly polishes from Sally Beauty Supply. It was buy one, get one free. So obviously I had to. Um, there were a couple colors in the baked collection I was interested in, but they didn't have them in stock, but they did have this one. This is Lush, and it's this pretty like lime green with yellow and gold like glitter and bar glitter. I thought that was gorgeous. And then I picked up Shine On Crazy Diamond, which is just ridiculously holographic, and this is a really good like topper for polishes. Uh, I picked up Naked Canvas. This one was actually on sale, but it's just such a bizarre color. It's like a white, pale, beigey nude. There's like a purple, violet kind of duochrome to it. And that was gorgeous. And then because you could still do the buy one get one free with the sale, I picked up the De Fleurs. I can't speak French, but this is just one of their French manicure sheer kind of pink ones. It kind of makes your nails look pinker and then the whites look whiter. So I got that and then I have those guys swatched on this wheel. This wheel. One of these. Oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> this is Naked Canvas. You can't really see like the weird duochrome to it, but it's just, it's super gorgeous. Uh, this is Shine On Crazy Diamond, just the holographic top coat. This one is Lush. That is just so pretty. And this is just a couple coats of the Disfleurs. So you can just see it's just like a sheer French manicure pink. Um, I also picked up some stuff from the Julep Red Marker sale. That was really exciting. They had a bunch of stuff for just like super duper discounted. Wasn't as exciting as their warehouse sale last year. Like the sale only lasted a couple days and they really didn't have that many things in it. Um, but I did grab some stuff. I grabbed four polishes for $2 each. Uh, I picked up, this is Shannon. This is from the It Girl collection. This is a silk finish, kind of honeydew color. So it dries matte with a shimmer. And it's just, I love the silk finish polishes. And I thought that was really gorgeous. This is Kimberly. This is one of the, um, like the Easter springtime polishes they had in the mystery boxes. It's just a purple color with black glitter. And then this is Emerson, which is the same thing, just blue with black. So now I have all three because I already have the green one with the black glitter, the uh, Felicity, Felicia. I think it's Felicity. I can't remember. But they're just really, really pretty. They have that speckled egg look. Uh, I know Illamasqua came out with a bunch of polishes like this. See, now it's not sunny anymore, and I don't understand what's happening. And they're just really pretty. And for $2 each, that's just a good deal. And then I picked up Shoshana, Shoshana. And it's just a really holographic yellow glitter because I just am literally a bird and I really, really love shiny things. And then I have those swatched here. So this is Shoshana. This is Kimberly, I think was the purple one. This is, was it called Shannon? Oh my god, I can't even remember the names of these. Yeah, Shannon. So I mean, as you can see, it's just this beautiful matte shimmer, honeydew kind of purple, and then that's Emerson. And they're just really pretty colors. I made two separate orders because they had, um, they had Shosh uh, Shoshana and they had um, Emerson up, or was it Kimberly? One of these two up, and then they added more, and then I picked those up too. But for $2 each, free shipping, really great deal. And then I also picked up a Moisture Mask Creole for $5. I think this retails for like 20 and I don't think it's worth 20 because you only get, you get three masks, but you only get one of each. So you get a mask for your nails, uh, you get a mask for your hands, and you get a mask for your feet. I don't think it's worth the full price, but for $5, like, I think that's worth it, and that'll be exciting to try. 
almost done. I'm starting to lose my voice from making all these videos, so I'm sorry if I sound squeaky. Uh, I went to the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. I bought some bras, so I'm not going to show you my bras. I'm going to return a couple because I'm just a really hard person to fit and they just don't fit. So I'm going to return them. But it's really great that they let you return stuff, even if it's semi-annual clearance. Uh, but I did pick up two body mists for like $3 each because they are 75% off. I got Passionate Kisses, which is cherry and vanilla. And I think this smells really, really good, but I was wearing it one day and my dad asked me why I smelled like cherry cigars. And so now maybe I don't like it so much. But, you know. Uh, and this is Forbidden Fantasy. This is Passion Fruit and Jasmine. I just love jasmine scents. So I just grabbed these. I mean, they're like three bucks each, and I thought that was a really good deal. And I got this on sale from Target. <laughs> this is just a tiny little bottle of the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Shampoo. I've used this before. I like it. I like how it smells. I mean, it was 15% off. It was 82 cents. I'm just a sucker. I'm a sucker for these clearance tags at Target. Like, I'll go there now, and I'll just walk to the beauty aisle, and, like, I'll home in on these, and... Yeah. And then finally, I got some stuff from e.l.f. Uh, this was the stuff I bought on Friday the 13th because they had a special where if you bought $13 or more, you would get free shipping, and I hate paying for shipping. And I had a $5 uh, gift card from my previous order because they forgot to give me one thing in, like, little, like, special gift set. I got two of these e.l.f. smudge pots. I got Hit the Town and Cruising Chic. I saw Bailey B from Making of the Midwest do a review on these, and she just really, really liked them. They're just like cream eyeshadows. They have a lot of pigmentation. As you can see, I've already stuck my finger in these. And considering how these are like, I think these are $3 each. They're either $1 or $3. I can't remember. They're from the Essential line, though. But they just, they have really good pigmentation. They're a really smooth finish. I'm not sure about their lasting power or anything, but you can definitely check out a bunch of reviews of, the, of these on YouTube. I know there's a bunch on there. But I thought these were really cool. Uh, I picked up this HD uh, just cream liquid blush. This is in the color Encore. This stuff is seriously pigmented. Like, it is intense. Um, this is an intense color. I wanted an intense color. I love cream blushes. So I just, I grabbed that. I think that was like $3. Uh, I got the um, tone correcting powder. This is the one with like the four colors. You swirl them together and you kind of use it as a setting powder and it just helps to counteract anything you have that's not a good color on your face. So I thought that was cool. And then I picked up a blush kit. This is kind of a newer one. I saw Allura Beauty do a review on these and she really, really liked them. So I figured why not? It was $6. I can get it open. Ouch. I went with the light one. And those are the four colors. I mean, they're, I think they're, these three are matte, and then this is the only one with shimmer. This one keeps popping out. Like, these little squares pop out, and this one arrived to me a little damaged. I don't know if you guys can see, like, the cracks on it. But, it, I mean, it's still functional, and I'm probably going to depot this anyways and put it in another Z palette. But I just thought, like, these blushes are just really interesting. They're really pretty colors. They have good pigmentation, and they'll be fun to use. And for $6 for four blushes, that is a super good deal. And that is everything. That is all the stuff that's been sitting around my desk. I'm really happy to finally get it all put away. Started to get these things, you know, mixed into my regular routine. And this video got long. I do apologize, but what can you do? I really, really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys that have subscribed to me. You guys are great. And I just, I can't thank you guys enough. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend.